Hey, thanks for stopping by. This is Clint Mackey with FearlessTeamLeader.com. And today what we're going to talk about is the an, an autoresponder series. Which autoresponder series to choose, which one is best. And unfortunately, I'm actually not going to talk about which one is best. I'm going to talk about the features of autoresponders, and then you're going to have to figure out which one is best for you. Now, I use GetResponse because simply uh, that's what I've always used. Someone got me hooked up with it one day. It does what I want it to do. It does exactly what I want it to do. And one thing I like about GetResponse for an autoresponder is that they are constantly innovating in bringing in new things that I can choose to use or not. And I'm going to show you a few of those features right now. And you can decide if this is the autoresponder series for you and uh, look into it. But you need an autoresponder. You need to choose an autoresponder for your business if you're going to be online so you can constantly follow up with people. Now the question is which one to use. Um, Constant Contact, Get Response, AWeber. You go on and on and on with a number of lists of autoresponders that are out there. But the one that I use is Get Response. So I'm going to show you a few of these features. And you can decide whether you uh, want to use this one or not. You can add contacts. The whole idea behind an an, uh, autoresponder series is that you need to be able to add people to your mailing list one way or the other. And all of them have the feature of being able to manually add people in. You can upload a file, but you need to be able to prove that you have the ability, the permission to use um, to use their their email address to send them stuff. You do not want to be a spammer because spammers end up getting blocked. It's illegal and it's obnoxious. People will um, absolutely hate you if you become a spammer. So don't just take everybody you know and flop them into a list. I really hate it when people add me to their list without me volunteering for it. I start getting their um, information as though I opted in. I opt into a lot of people's autoresponders just to see what they're doing and keep up with what they're doing and I'd read very few of them honestly Um, but it's nice to see what my competitors are doing and understand what it is that they're sending out and as well as the leadership that I have in these different teams that I've been members of I like to see what they're doing and sometimes I swipe their content so you want people to volunteer to be on your list one way or the other and that's a topic for a different um, a different uh, talk that we'll do later on. Creating web forms. When you create a web form what this means is you can design boxes for people to put their information in and it's really cool because you can design these boxes to look however you want them and put them just about anywhere so that people have the option of joining you or getting something from you in return for their email address. It's fair trade. That's how you get people to join in on your mailing list and you can persuade them or get them to follow you and uh, keep in touch with them. People don't buy on the first contact. Hardly ever do they buy on the first contact. Usually it'll take five or six or seven or eight different contacts to get people um, to join whatever it is that you're doing. But that's how you create those forms where people add in their their email addresses. You can create newsletters. Now this is really cool because you can do it a lot of different ways. HTML, if you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. That's a, a coding that you can put in there so you can design it um, any way you want it to look and this copy and paste it in there. And then they also have these really fancy, fun, um, I can't see them right now, emails that you can create that look just like web pages and they're really cool um, they're nice I don't hardly ever use that because I prefer HTML I like to design it in different program copy and paste it in there but the bottom line is you can create your newsletters on your autoresponder and send them through the system to the people that have opted to be on your list um, get response just set up a landing page creator now, if you need landing pages, I think this is as good a spot to get them as anything because it's all in one spot. And I started using this. I have a different auto, um, a different landing page creator that I've used in the past. But I like that I can open up one page and have all my stuff be consistent throughout and be consistency. And it, your your clients need to be able to. Um, know what to expect from you. They really appreciate the fact that that they can rely on the consistency in your message and in your uh, in your uh, advertising. They really do appreciate that, and your conversion rates would be much better. So that's one good reason to use their their landing pages. You can do surveys with your customers and understand what it is that they want. You can look at your email statistics and figure out who's opening your emails, your um, your open rates. Um, how many people have viewed your emails and you can kind of tweak your message from there to make sure people are engaging a little bit better. Um, 
adding contacts you can import contacts there are rules for doing that so if you've got a big email list uh, somewhere in your uh, you know in your contact management somewhere you can e you can import that to a degree there are rules that go along with that and you can copy them and you can actually export them if you want and so you can really get get uh, flexible and put people in there whatever you need to do I, I highly recommend that you get an autoresponder series even if you don't think you know what you're doing uh, most people don't you know so honestly most people don't know what they're doing until they start doing it and that's the important part is you need to be able to get started and learn this it's it can seem difficult at first uh, if you're new to it but you need this you absolutely need an autoresponder series to go out to the people that you've engaged in it'll make your life easier in the long run if you go through the pain of setting this up and get going on it just get going on it and that's all I have time for today my name is Clint Mackey I'm the fearless team leader with fearlessteamleader.com that is my blog and my, uh, my complete mission in life is to leave you better than I found you, and I really hope I've done that today. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time.